The last time you shopped online for a pair of shoes, did the ads follow you for days or even weeks? Well, your internet provider knows far more about your browsing habits than Google, Facebook, or Amazon. And now that provider can legally sell that information without your permission. Privacy advocates are so outraged, Adam McElhaney has raised over $200,000 on a GoFundMe page to buy the internet histories of members of Congress who passed the law. And I think that really sends a signal that people are very upset that their data is not theirs anymore. But it's unlikely internet companies would ever sell personal browsing histories because they're still required to protect customer privacy. Presumably names, addresses, social security numbers. Only anonymous browsing information could be sold. But privacy experts warn that may not be enough. Somebody with a sophisticated program and algorithm could find out who you are just by these breadcrumbs that are lying around about you on the internet. The nation's biggest internet providers insist they're committed to protecting customer privacy because we value their trust. But if you're still concerned, security experts suggest limit your web browsing to HTTPS sites. The S stands for secure. Call your internet provider and opt out of targeted marketing. And if you're really concerned, pay for a VPN, a virtual private network, which puts your web surfing in a secure bubble. But VPNs can also disable some sites like video streaming. The bottom line, most Americans will simply have to trust that their internet providers are keeping their privacy promises. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.